one second. Thank you to the subscriber that sent me this keychain and all four of these powdered coffee whiteners because we know I probably could need it. And also thank you to the subscriber that sent me this solar controller. Um, Mike and Carrie, thank you. This one, ugh, call me a jerk, but I lost the piece of paper for it. It might be on the floor of my van, but you know who you are. Thank you. I will definitely use those. And this is already on my keys. Pretty sweet. Now, as long as Disco doesn't see the ball side of it, we're golden. Opening up mail is always so much fun. All right, let's get to the topic of this video. You guys see everything okay in here? I'm wearing my sunglasses, so the framing of the shot, it looks good, like just the outline, but to see the color and stuff, is it working out? Yeah, it's a bit too flary and bright out here. And it's windy. Disco don't care, he's passed out on the sidewalk over there. He's a great filmer's helper. All right, let's get comfy in here. This might be long-winded. This, long, this might be a long-winded video. I don't know, because we're gonna talk about me and what YouTube has done to me as a person. Yes, YouTube has definitely changed who I am, what I do, how I function, how I look at things, how I interact with people, and what I do with my time. Yeah, YouTube has changed a freaking lot. Putting my phone in front of my face for the very, very first time and shared my life with somebody was right here about 10 months ago on YouTube or whatever that was. Go back and you'll find out. About 10 months ago. Um, putting your phone in front of your face and walking through public and not caring what anybody around you thinks is a whole new experience for me. You know, because you kind of have to stand there and realize that on this little tiny phone that I'm holding in front of my face, there's 12,000 people there looking back at me today. So when I'm out in public, I got to think about you guys entirely because I'm talking to you. And so that's changed, like, the confidence side of me. I've always been a confident guy. I got no fear. You could throw me in front of, like, an auditorium with, like, 20,000 people at a concert. I will DJ, get on the mic, and rock the crowd with no hiccup. But doing things like this... It's extremely personal. Out there, I could be, as a DJ, I could be my persona. I could be who I am as a DJ, my character, I guess. But on here, I'm raw. You guys are getting me, me, and me, and all the little personal things I've shared with you guys, which are crazy, some of the things I've told you. I'm just throwing my life on the internet. But YouTube has definitely helped with confidence in that way. I was already socially confident, but that just added that extra element of no fear. Like, I have zero fear about anything. You throw me in any situation now and I will thrive, thrive, thrive. Another major thing YouTube has done is it's made me look at life differently. I picture everything as a freaking movie. I always see things as a shot. You know, something will drive by, you know, whether it be like a sound. Like you can put me in a situation and I will hear all the different tiny little sounds around me and focus on what's attached to each of those sounds and how I can put all of those together into something. Because everything's got a rhythm, everything has an energy, everything has a movement, and I see things that way now. I never used to look at life that way. I look at things now for how beautiful and perfect that little tiny item is and how big that tiny item could be to a story at the end of the day. YouTube has changed my outlook in a massive way. It's also shown me the different types of characters and qualities of people that are around this world. You know, because I only interacted with whoever I felt like interacting with before. But now that I'm on YouTube, I have what 12,000 different types of characters in front of me so I starting to learn how people receive information how they accept information I could make a video with a certain message but somebody will take it a totally different way and it's really been showing me that you know the world can take anything out of one thing it could be one message but somebody will take it as as something completely epic on another side whether it be offensive or inspirational like people take things out of videos that I just they shock me I'm like wow you got that out of that video and then when I really think about it I'm like wow I get it you know and 
but it showed me how people's mindsets function and work on all sides of the spectrum. And I love that about YouTube. Something, I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, but YouTube has taught me to not give a freaking shit. Crazy to say, but it's true. Dealing with all of the comments on a daily basis and and everything that goes on in the comments, it's taught me, to, I don't know how to word this without sounding bad. It's taught me how to divide what what's worth my time and what's not worth my time. Using this as an example, prior to YouTube, someone used to text me and that was my priority. I pick it up and I'd have to text back no matter what or who it was because that's who I was as, as a person. I wasn't that person to just shove them off to the side. Now that I have a YouTube channel, I look down at my phone, I'm like, eh, I'll get to that later. Because I've learned with doing all of this to prioritize my time to what I feel is important to myself. It's made me really focus on what's truly important to me at this point in time in my life. You know, there's emails I get, there's messages I get that I don't reply to and I'm not talking about here either because I miss a whole lot of messages because that's, that's, they take so freaking long and so much time out of my day, but I try. But it's, it's closed off that side of my world and closed off might be a bad term, but hopefully you understand what, what, what I'm getting to with that. But it's also changed personal things in my life. Um, like DJ gigs now, I'm like, yeah, I don't want it. But you know how many gigs I've said no to since I've been doing this? I'm like, someone will mess me up, like, I don't want it. Before I would take it, it's money, let's do it. I Literally, when I had my day job, I DJ every gig that was thrown at me, I didn't care, it was always yes, 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 and yes. Now it's like, yeah, I don't want it. But it's given me the chance to get those thoughts that are always in my head that I never really shared out with everybody every day, whether it be adventure stuff or just sharing some thought that's randomly in my head. Um, huh, am I missing anything? Um, um, but what? Eh, but it's the most satisfying thing in the world to hit that upload button, no matter how or epic that day was. There's something so satisfying that I am sharing a piece of my day, no matter what it is, with somebody. So hitting that upload button, no matter the quality of that video, it, it's got this power to it. People may like it, people may not like it, but I'm not here to create something for you. I'm here to create content that I want to create. Because if I'm not doing this for myself and feeding that creative beast I have inside, then what am I doing this for? I'm not here to sit here every single day and do life for you. Because nobody should ever, ever, ever wake up and do their life for somebody else. Wake up and do life for you. You got one freaking life to live. So who knows what you're going to get on the future of this channel? Just stick around, man. We could be doing anything. You never know. We might be doing food reviews one day. Probably not. But I do know one thing. That um, there's a disco video coming up. An all disco video. I dug through some clips and I found some stuff. Some b-roll shots of disco having a good time. And that will be coming up in tomorrow's video. Are you coming up? You gonna come up? You can come up. Come on. I wonder if these are any good. Anybody tried these? This one's this one's hazelnut. I got lots. This is just original coffee whitener. This one is vanilla caramel. French vanilla. Hey, you guys think this might be good just just eat right out of the container? Ooh, let's try them. <laughs> Ooh, they smell good. So just so you guys know, if you ever come over to my house, don't eat my coffee wine there. I'm about to. Ooh, the aftertaste on that one's really good though. All right, next. I'm, ah, let's try this one anyway. He's just regular coffee whitener. Yeah. Don't suggest this one. Don't don't eat it. Ooh, it smells like nuts. Don't be dirty.
Yeah, you want some? Ooh. That one's good. I'm excited for this one. Vanilla caramel. The disco lick it as chops is a gimme some dad. Ooh. 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 Highly recommend sticking your finger in this one. Next time you're at the grocery store. Mm. This is gonna be a problem. <laughs> Someone's gonna ask me once, hey Chrome, how did that powdered coffee cream or the vanilla caramel taste in your coffee? I don't know, I just ate the whole freaking container on my own. <laughs> okay, things are getting weird. But thank you guys for always being here. I freaking love you. I love everything you guys have done. YouTube has been nothing but a beautiful experience for us. Sure, we've experienced some ups and some downs and some creative lulls, but all of those things are a life lesson for me. And I love that about this platform. I love it that nothing here is, it's ever changing, you know, like there's not, there's not one set thing that succeeds. Like I can make a video that I think is epic and nobody will watch it and I'll make a crap video. People will just like, whoa, that was awesome. <laughs> so there's no real rhyme or recipe and I love that about YouTube that, that I don't know what to expect. The greatest thing about being a YouTube creator for somebody like me is that my mind never stops. Being a creator just about every single day, my mind always is always thinking something. It's always seeing something in a different way or being creative about something or, you know, something is always manifesting in here out of everything that I see and do, someone I talk to, ideas I get from people. I even watch YouTube channels different than I used to. Like some of my favorite creators, like Casey Neistat, Peter McKinnon, I see their videos differently now that I'm a creator. Like I start to see the flow of things and why they choose things and why these clips are done this way. And you know, you see the whole picture for what it is. And I break life down the same way now. Like when I'm out for a walk in a park or on a beach or I hear a song that I want that, that I'm downloading for one of my videos, I'm just standing there looking around, I can see, you know, movements while people were walking. I'm like, oh, this song would be perfect for this. And I love that. Being a YouTube creator is probably the greatest thing I have ever done in my whole freaking life. And trust me, guys, I have been through some freaking epic DJ moments epic like just opening up huge concerts for massive artists where I'm standing there on stage rocking the crowd opening for the artist and introducing what's up guys welcome down to an auditorium full of people but nothing has been more epic than the feeling of hitting upload I'm serious guys how crazy is that that tiny little button that says upload ah oh, just awesome anyway <laughs> We're out. We done for this video, boys, girls, weirdos. We out. Bye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the end screens are on here right now, so right there, wherever it is, come join us on Patreon. Mm. And don't forget to damn well subscribe.